Well, primarily last night, everybody always wonders about that little last night episode. Uh, I left here. Uh, Dr. Gordon likes to give the patients a, a pain relief, so I took my pain relief pill right before I left from here, went straight to the whole hotel, and actually I walked back to the hotel. A little bright outside. Uh, we could have got the car and everything, but we're just right around the corner. It was probably maybe a half a block, a block, block, or something like that. Then uh, I went and really did as I was told, which is unusual for a doctor. I went and went to bed, uh, fell asleep. Uh, so they say that was about 9 o'clock uh, to about 2 o'clock. And then I woke up. You could already see. I could already see pretty much everything in the room. See well enough to see TV. Uh, so that was kind of neat. So I could actually um, function at that point. Tried to go back to sleep, but I'm just not a big day sleeper, uh, especially after you, you know, slept all night the night before, and then you got up and went right back to bed for another four hours. So I just kind of hung around, watched TV for part of the day. My uncle and I kind of went out just for a little light dinner, nothing spectacular there in the hotel. And then I came back and went to bed uh, pretty much early. Uh, realistically, for pain, I would say for that first 30 minutes, yeah, you kind of do get that kind of Tabasco sauce sensation in your eyes. But if you can, you know, get something on board and get home and get to bed, you're fine. It's not a big issue. Uh, a lot of my patients will travel three to four hours, uh, and I always try and encourage them to stay somewhere close to home just for that that 30 minute little episode of kind of tearing and burning. But it's not anything um, too big, especially for the rewards. I could barely uh, see the big E before, so I was a, a minus six roughly in one eye and a minus five in the other eye. Uh, not a whole lot of stigmatism, really not any. And uh, so I could get out of the house if it were on fire, but it was a challenge. But I mean, for the most part, the big E was a challenge for me. You know, people want to know one thing. They want to know, am I going to see as good in my glasses as I did after, you know, in the surgery? And so realistically, I'm seeing pretty much what I saw in my contact lenses already today. Now. Uh, that's in a bright lit condition. If I get in a little gray condition, it's probably a little tougher, but still, I can see uh, on the ETDRS chart today, I already was seeing the 20, some on the 2012.5 line. The right eye that we fixed for distance by itself was 2016, and the left eye was 2025 plus two. So we planned that. I was going to undercorrect that left eye to, to keep my arm a little bit shorter for the next few years.